taught you how to set rat traps, get rid of germs. It's Downsy Baby. Matrix Radio Vision Live, where the unsigned and independent artist gets to shine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back from commercial. That was the um, Killer Code Con. Why don't you explain to them what you got going on there with that? Well, um, that's my first single. That's my only single, and that might be my only song ever. I mean, um. You know, people that know me know that I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a serious person, like, in life. Because my freedom was taken away when I was so young. And I fought so hard to get, you know, up out of that situation. I really value my freedom and I, I value life. So, um, I understand that music is a, a full-time job. You know what I mean? So... With that said, you know, I love the craft, you know, I honor the craft and all of that. But I also understand that, you know, that's a young man's sport. You know what I mean? What I mean by I don't have 10 years in me to just be running, performing on stage and all that all over. I, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean, I got a different type of mindset. I feel like if I could kick the gate open, you know, for my state, you know, my city, then Trust and believe it's a lot more talent where I came from. So now maybe the world, the music world, you know, the hip hop world, the entertainment world will start paying attention to Connecticut and acknowledging the fact that, you know, we are part of the tri-state. We always support, support the culture. We always move the culture forward. Now it's about time for the culture to recognize and acknowledge, you know, what we have to offer. And I knew that it had to be done properly. I mean, you can't just come in there and expect to go with a song that ain't, that doesn't have substance. So, Killer Code of Conduct was done with all type of thoughts and energy. You know what I mean? That's why I didn't allow anybody to be featured. That's why I didn't allow auto tunes. That's why I didn't allow the engineer to clip anything because I wanted it to be pure and I wanted people to pay attention to the words and the message. And I also knew that if I delivered it on a certain drum line that a DJ, a very good DJ, like this man right here, DJ Thousand Air. Right, right. Right? Thousand Air is... is that, 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 he's that, that, he's that, right. Nah, nah, but listen. Thousand Air is one of the he best. Did, he did exactly yeah. what a great DJ is supposed to do. He's supposed to be able to take a song listen to it and be able to blend it. And that's all I was trying to do. I didn't want it to have a beat where people paid attention to the beat. You know what I'm saying? So now, this is the challenge. We only talking to two people right now. If you listen to the song, man, they're going to tell you that. I mean, we want seven figures, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. I ain't gonna front. It's a very, very clean song. Being that you only got just the the hi hats and the and the and the, and the bass with it, right? It allows you to do a whole lot. It's better to have an acapella, but it's clean as it is. It's very clean. Thank you, man. I got the acapella also, man. Just to let you know, man. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, Bridge, Bridgeport has some some um <coughs> uh, uh how can I say it? There's a lot of trouble out there too. History. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, a lot yeah. of trouble out there too. Yeah, this is what I want people to understand. For a lot, a lot of years, people had a certain perception of Connecticut, because Connecticut is a small state. And then... It depends on which big. It depends oh, where. Wait, 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 hold on. It depends on how you're driving through Connecticut here. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's the only thing I'm here to you know, uh, represent and to carry, is the fact that where I come from is a place of real struggle. You know what I mean? And... I was taught young that it's hoods everywhere. That's why it's so easy for me to mingle. I, I've never been one to say, yo, my city or my hood is tougher than every other hood. I acknowledge what my city is about, how rough it is, but I also respect other cities throughout the country or throughout the world that's right. rough. And, 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 and we all live by that same maxim that it's G's everywhere, bro. In right. every country, every hood and all of that. Now it's about 
us linking, us, you know, gripping all over, connecting. It's that time. Well, it, that actually goes right in line with your gifts, right? Mm -hmm. You gave us some gifts, right? Now, I want you, because I, I could try to explain it, mm -hmm. but I ain't going to be able to do it as well as the creator, right? Mm -hmm. So you explain, yeah. explain the, the shirt to people. Explain the brand. All right, well, um, this is actually a, a DTG image. It's a, a director garment image of a oil painting that I own. Now, this oil painting was created um, about 15 years ago um, by a, a masterful painter that I happened to commission. So um, when I asked him to do something for me, you know, he put his little twist on it and all of that, but I actually own this oil painting. So now what I did is, since the image was so powerful to me and what it represented to me, I wanted to share it. Right. But I didn't want to give people my interpretation of it. So now some people, when they see the image, Right away, they're offended. Oh, why you put a baby in jail? And then other people might say, why is the baby white? But if anybody really knows art, art is supposed to evoke emotion. It's supposed to create conversation. Right. So that's what it does. What's ironic is that um, technically that baby is us because we were locked up as babies. You know, we were teenagers, but we were still babies. Look, that's why I said it's meaningful to me. Right. Because the system cast me away as a young teenager. Right. And in my family's eyes, I was still my mother's baby. That's a fact. When you came out, did it, did you, how did your mom feel? Just I, I just wanted, to, I wanted well, to ask that, like the whole past hour and a half. Um, people that know me know a little bit of my history. Um. My pops was a military man during um, Vietnam. How he went about entering the military is a whole nother story, but while my pops was stationed in South Korea, he met my mother. He married her, and I'm their only, si I'm their only child. I'm so for clarification, you are not just one nationality. No. Just for clarification, you know. Exactly, I'm a mixture of um, black, that's African, Indian, um, South Korean, uh, we, we could trace a little bit of uh, Jewish um, and whatever else. But growing up, I was able to easily identify with different cultures. That's why a lot of my comrades are Boricua, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, you know, uh, Asian. Whatever it is, I was able to get along with different cultures because of my own mix. You know what I mean? And technically, that's why they call you China. Yeah, but right. I'm, I'm Korean. I'm Korean, but, you know, since I was little, my pops called me China man, you know what I mean? So right. But it was the chinky eyes that did it. Exactly. Right? It, uh, you it, know, it, it, just, just to put it out there, right, in case I'm, they haven't noticed yet. Right. I'm, right. Um, <laughs> it's only two people in my whole hood that right. look like me. You know what I mean? So everybody that I grew up with, right. they knew. So now, technically... Technically, what, like what we mentioned, it's funny how it's all falling in line, right? Mm -hmm. Because what I what I, I said I wanted to talk about was your maturity, mm. right? Because in jail, of course, a person can stay immature forever. You know what I'm saying? Those are usually the ones that never come home. You know what I'm saying? Those are usually the ones that stay in there stuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But then you have, a, a um, on some, especially the most stronger ones, you have a point in their bids when they start to mature. Mm. They start to see things for, they start to focus more on, let's focus more on me getting home, on me taking care of my family, me making my family feel better. Um, let me focus on studying, on education. At what point in life did that, what point in life did, did you get to that? Well, um, I can't- At what point in your bit? Yeah, I can't identify the precise time where, you know, everything clicked, but I know it was a process. Anybody that ever did time with me would tell you that I was always committed to getting out because I knew what type of person I was when I was free. When I was young, I get money, I drive cars, I ride motorcycles, I like jewelry. That's as a young teenager. So you snatch me away and you lock me away for years and years, 
My mindset is to get back to that. So while I'm in jail dealing with all the bullshit, I'm telling dudes, yo, I don't want to go through this because I want to get home. But I'm not pussy. So if you come at me, I'm going to bang out too. But my whole objective, my whole goal is to get back to my family. Now, through the study of law, I help free myself. You know, we'll talk about that another time. But when you study law, part of studying law is to know procedure. Procedure, procedures are like the rules, the laws of, of uh, motion practice. If you don't follow procedure, uh, the courts don't acknowledge what you're doing. That's bottom line. So right. studying law taught me procedure, and it also made me honor deadlines. So that makes you a serious person. If you miss a deadline, you don't follow procedure, you might have a motion that could free you, and then people play games with you. So I was always on point. procedure and deadlines. Well, well, yeah, I was on point with those. Yeah. Now, that makes you serious. While I'm trying to get free, I'm also dreaming that any day the gate could pop, so I got to be ready. So what I did is I formed seven different companies in my mind or on paper, but it was all a dream. So I just wrote it out. That was my time to study research and, and diagram. So when I came home, I, I was ready. Not ready for everything, but I was ready in a sense that I didn't have to do all the reading that most people do because I had the time to do it already and I did it. So now, um, coming home, I wanted to do music. I released my song independently. But before I released it, I did all my paperwork independently. So what I want to do is I want to teach. At the same time, I'm moving. Showing the young people that, that are into the music, into whatever they're in. Do your paperwork. In 2017 with Google, with all of these uh, apps on phones and all this information, there's no reason not to do your paperwork. You're just being lazy. You know, speaking of phone, when you went in, um, what type of cell phone? Or, or no, what? there wasn't even a cell Suitcase. phone back then, right? Yo, anybody that, wait, wait, wait. watching and that listening? That was that old joint, right? My the Suitcase. old joint like this, Yo, right? Let's not play with, with the, it. Wait, wait, with the pull-up antenna. I'm trying to refresh my mind. Yeah, oh, okay. I didn't even have one of those. Yeah. But that, you, those were the type of cell phones when you went in. Now, when you came out... I had out, a beeper. I had a beeper. Yeah. I had a nice beeper. The two-way beeper still walk around came with the beeper? out back not, then. Not even a two-way yet. I got locked up February... I got shot February 14th, 1992. From there, I got arrested in the hospital and I disappeared. But so, now that's, that's 1992. Now, we, now it's 2017. 17, 2016, I came home. Yes. My daughter passed me the iPhone 6, brand new hit. It was a magic wand to me. You didn't know. Right. You, did, did you have any? Okay, you didn't know how to work it correctly. I didn't, but I'll tell you this. I always dreamed, like, to touch. The phone, yeah, the smartphone. Now I had access to cell phones a couple of times, but an actual smartphone that I could sit and learn. The reason why it wasn't, you know, technology didn't put fear into me, or you know, I wasn't afraid of technology. I embraced it, is because I like to learn, and I, I used to walk and imagine carrying a cell phone. What was what was the biggest culture shock for you? Yeah, cell phone. Hold on, hold on. We got, we got a, caller. a caller. Hello. Yo, I'm back to a cripple 3030. Hello? Yeah. You can hear me? It's Wild Dave, man. Well, oh, what's good, Wild Dave? Shout it out. Shout it out, man. To the Conrad, you already know China White. You already know Cripple 3030. Calling y'all all the way from Cocoa, Florida. Sending my love and salute to the brother. Always, man. You already know, man. You already um. know. Definitely. Uh, oh, you got to see the cheese smiles on both of them right now. I'm yeah, sorry. That's one, of our, <laughs> that's one of the elder brothers. Um, he's one of the elders in our circle. You know, um, yeah, God he bless, instead, yeah, God bless, bless up, man. man. You know, he a family. He a strong family man right now. But, you know, to tell you, yo, Dave, so you understand, bro. At a young age, this man introduced us to certain books, to right. certain teachers, yeah. to certain disciplines. So... You know, those are invaluable in your journey. Right. So, yeah, we acknowledge all of that. That's definitely one of the definitely. bigger brothers, man. You know, I got mad love for you, cuzzo. 
Always, man. You know what it is, man. I, I, See you I, soon. You know, we came from 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 the bottom, man. From mm. you know rough rough territories. You know what I mean? You know, be, and uh, you know, I I I tried not to glorify the past, especially you know what I mean where we came from, being the prison system and stuff like that. But we never forget where we came from, neither. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And and but, um, you know. But you know what? It's hard as it is. You know. Could I ask you this, bro? Hello? Why? Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you this. Why should be why should we be ashamed of our past if our past helped create the individuals we are now? Oh, I mean, plus, it, it develop it develop the past always develop what, what you are now, your character, you know what I mean, who you are as a man, you know what I mean? You know, so we never gonna uh, 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 be ashamed, you know what I mean? It's nothing about being ashamed of where you come from, you know what I'm mm. saying? It's just about um glorifying, you know what I'm saying? Because right. like, you know, when we came up we claim up or looking up at, at the OGs and the block hustling, you know what I mean, getting money, trying to be like something like them, you know what I mean? And, 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 and a lot of that, you know what I mean, extends from, you know what I mean, putting us in the position as being being incarcerated, being a president, because, you know, we ain't had no guidance, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, as being younger, mm. being younger, we was, we, was, um, we was taught to be men at an early age, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know? Like, like, say for me, I'm, I'm speaking to, I'm speaking up by myself, you know what I mean, like an example, you know what I mean, my brother went in in 19, what, 86, you know what I mean, he went to jail, you know what I mean, you guys know him as Quiet Tone, you know what I mean, mm. did plenty of time, everybody know him throughout the state, you know what I mean, and he went in, I was forced to be the man of the house, you know what I mean, so we learned how to adapt and to, to survive in the street, so now, you know what I mean, we, we see these brothers coming up, in and out of the system, mm. we like, damn, okay. you know what I mean? You know, we ain't had no guidance, you know what I mean? Back then we had guidance, but the guidance, like right now, in this generation, they don't got no guidance. They running them up, you know? Okay, well. You know what I mean? So when, when we was in there, we was, we was, we was embraced with the, with the, with the, with, 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 with brothers that, like, 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 um, like Farmer, old man Farmer, that, you know, uh, 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 um, what's the brother, um, of course, my brother Blue Boy. You know what I mean? These are brothers that, you know, open the doors See, for us yeah, to, 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 um, to, um, to show us knowledge and give us books. Like, you know, ch the first book that I got about the Pedro Luis Ocampo was from, from Blue Boy. Why I had to learn that in prison when I could have learned that in, 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 in my own household. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, these are the things that, that you know, it, it brings me back to, like, you know, not to glorify prison system or certain lifestyles because that's what's going to lead you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like nowadays, you got OGs that's not even respected in the street. And these are guys that's been putting in work forever, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why but, is that? Yo, because they don't... They, huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Excuse me for interrupting. Why is that? Because the non, a lot of them, you know what I mean, they lost respect from themselves, you know what I mean? Mm. Okay. You, know, you got guys that I know that's OGs and shit that, you know, did enough time and did, you know, you know, they were was valid basically, you know. Now they come home and, and, and they become dope fiends and, and you know, mm -hmm. all these other stuff that you like, wait a minute, I don't know you like that, you know what I mean? Now you, that's why the younger brothers, they don't have no respect for you because they're looking down at you like, damn. You, and when I was growing up, I was looking up at you, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. I don't, you know. Could I add on to that, brother? Of course, of course. Okay, this is what I want to say to that. Um, a lot of people forewarn me coming home that, yo, the young dudes ain't trying to hear that. The young dudes is wild. They going to clip you. They try to clip you. They try to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, they I used to say this. <laughs> yeah, I used to say this. First of all, the young dudes that I was around is some of the worst young dudes in New York State. And I was exactly. around them. And if they respect me, you know what I mean? I'd be damned if I come out here and let them. Girl, like a bozo, yeah. disrespect me. So now the whole thing was getting the respect of my family first. So what I did is I entered my family, I re-entered my family, and I got my respect because I'm the eldest. I'm the eldest grandson right now. So I, I got the respect of my family first, and then now I could go and move and lead by example and, and, and show younger brothers yeah. that, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not here as a representative of dudes that go back and forth to prison. I'm not a here no, as a no. representative of dudes that commit heinous crimes. I'm not a dude as a rep, I'm not a representative for none of that. I represent one group of people. The young people right. that made bad decisions, that put themselves yeah, in and, bad positions. And, and, 
And at the end of the day, they made that bad decisions, but they corrected them when they came home. You or know just like you they do need- it now, you did you did all this time, you did twenty five years, but you re- you regrouping yourself and you creating another a whole different person now. You right. Know I mean? Because well, you, you, I'm not gonna say a whole different person. It's a part of me. It's just me evolving. You know what I'm saying? Of because course. I'm, I, I it's, still it's evolving, but at the same time, you um you inspiring other brothers mm. and that's out there that's younger than you. Is like damn. You know what I mean? This brother been through hell and back. He been through the concrete jungle. He been through the prison system, and he made it. Look at what positive outlook he turned out negative mm-hmm. to a positive. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look, you know? let me tell you one thing, bro. While I was in the system doing all that hard time, one of the things I used to tell myself was, imagine if I went home and I didn't have one dollar. Yeah. I didn't have no support. So with that being said, I had to keep my name strong. You understand what I'm saying? I had to yeah. keep my name solid to the extent that when I came, that at least my name meant something. You know what I mean? And you know one of the yeah. rules, they say guard your reputation with your life. Yeah. But you can't yeah. be doing the fuckery and then trying to guard your reputation. You understand what I'm saying? So now, no, that's backwards, yeah. you know, one thing I hear a lot out here is, oh, this person got that from jail, this person got that from jail, but... If you really think about it, some of us acquire principles in prison that are everlasting, that are invaluable. Yeah. So it ain't about right. what you acquired in prison. It's what it ain't about where you acquired it. It's about what you acquired. So now look, That's right. we live by certain codes. We live by certain bylaws and, and understandings amongst each other. That's right. And if we were able to stay committed to what we said we wouldn't do in prison, bro, on some real shit, person got to respect that. That's what I do. Of course. Now, of course, they, they, they don't have no choice but to respect uh, that, you know? Uh-huh. They don't have no choice but to respect that. And then that, if you, you pay attention, mean? if you pay attention to one thing, watch the person that is slow to give you the respect that you earn or the credit that yeah. you deserve. Yes, that's the chosen few, man. Chosen few comrades. We came from, we came from a, a group of men, you know, actually, you know, kids and teenagers at first. If we went in, we was all kids, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and and we became men. We became, you know, men of honor, you know, what I mean, discipline, and, and and we met like how me and you met. We met through, you know, what I mean, when we was locked up in one main thing. That's right. You know what I mean. The Conrad Cisco sent me with some food and stuff like that. Yo, go see my man China on the other side. And I came out and I bring you the food and I, I introduced myself. But that was men. That was chosen few men that was not with the fuckery. We, we built discipline throughout the years because the, the the older OGs that paved the way for us and opened the doors and told them, you know, this is how it is, you know? We listen. This is how it is. You know we what pay I mean? attention. We respect the elders. So this, this let me tell you this, bro. I'm not here for everybody to, you know, jump in line and, and, and respect everything I'm saying. I'm not here for that. No, However, that. The, 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 the young dudes, the older dudes or whatever, I, I'm not here to be disrespected. Of course. You understand what I'm saying? So now, at this age, I still could fight, right? Yeah. I, I fight very well. I could, I could still do anything a dude that say, saying uh, a 40-year-old man is washed up or whatever, anything he say, <laughs> right. anything he say he could do, I probably could do it better. That's and right. you know what? I don't tell. That's, that's, that's what's right. going on out here. That's what I see a lot of that's weakling. A lot of dudes, yeah. they put themselves in positions where, you know, they really, they're around wolves and lions and sharks and, and, and all that. Then things happen, they, yeah. they crumble. But they put themselves in that, in that position by fronting. So, bro, I'm on it like this, man. And all my, my young family members, I got a couple family members that's here today. And all my young boys will tell you, you know, I'm consistently consistent, man. Y'all, Yo. y'all were consistent with the smiles when Dave first got on the phone, by the way. Both okay. of y'all, that's the first time I've seen them that's both smile, love, Dave. Man. Come you know on, that's big, bro, man. Love, uh, up, yo, man. yo. Yeah. Yeah, you so, already know, man. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, we come, we come a very long way, man. So it's like, you know what I mean? I'm just proud of you guys, man, because y'all making, y'all making it, y'all making this, 
this um, these trials and tribulations that we went through, and we turn making a whole U U turn okay. and yeah. putting a positive message behind everything, stuff yeah. like that, with your clothing line, you know what I mean, mm. with the uh, um, um, the, the the pain shirts, you know what I mean. I love that, you know what I yeah. mean, and with the killer code of conduct, you yeah. know, we, we working, you know what I'm saying. That's we right. not we not we not stagnated with our growth, hey. but we and we we set ourselves. With goals and principles, and, 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 and with and with the people and the love behind us, it's, it's nothing that could stop us. You know what I mean? Oh, I right. see, and, that that and, Mr. And rising youth, grind. I, yo, rising that, yo, grind. Yeah. let me let me also say this, right? He told you about a time where he met me in 1992, and yeah. gave me a a little bit of food, right? When mm -hmm. I was starving, he shared his food That's with me, right. right? You know what? Uh, a few months ago, that man took me with his truck and helped me get my license. I love that's you, right. bro. Yeah, I, re I remember seeing. The I mean, that's how that. we bring it for. That's, right. that's how we bring it for full circle. That's I mean, right. definitely. Hey, and, and and the crazy thing about that day, we went through hells that day. Remember? No, well, we ain't, listen. <laughs> did, did I get the L's first time? Yeah, we went. Was you with yeah, me? We went through hell. That's that. Because they denied, they denied, they denied him to drop my truck because they wanted inspection of the truck and all this stuff, and we had to go back to get another car. Yeah, it was crazy that day, but we made it happen. You know. Yeah, yo, so I appreciate you calling, cuzzo. We definitely gonna hit up definitely, after the man. show. We can link up and everything, you heard? Yeah. All right, my brother, definitely, man. man. I love from Florida. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I send y'all warm. I send y'all sun from over here from Florida. Mm. Man, I love because I know it's brick over there in New York, so definitely. it's mad <laughs> love always, man. Okay, Hope to always, see y'all soon this year. Definitely, All right. man. Man, Stanley Cup, love. Love y'all. All okay. right, love you too, cuzzo. That's right, the love. only time you ever hear them say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So, now, what was your biggest culture shock? Um, you said the phones, right? The smartphones, because I, I consider a smartphone like a magic wand to me. Right. Because, like, I, I move with that phone. Man, listen, that, it's, it's magic to me. It, I, I, you know what? I think that, man, listen, somebody should evaluate how I integrated, reintegrated in society by using that iPhone, because that's amazing. That iPhone really helped. When I'm you, not promoting them, but I'm telling you, that's no, all I, I use, and, and it works for me. But if you go back to when you guys were locked up, like on, the computers were like this, right? On, we yeah. Yeah. And then, Hello? Like, You're back to a group of 3030. Yeah, 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 what's going on, fella? What's going on? Okay, okay, it's group 3030. You got China, Chai Nils up here. My name Chai Nils, a.k.a. Chai Mai. All right, China man, what's going on? You talking to Twin, bro? How's what's going good, here? Twin? All right, yeah. what's going on, buddy? What's yeah. going on? C seventy four, we out here, man. We influence yeah, you know, the world, yo, the yo, bro. Bus. We help influence the world, man. Stop playing. That's a, that's a fact. That's a fact, bro. All right. Yo, Joe, Joe what's going on, Joe? Yeah, uh, chilling, man, chilling. We up here. We was just, we was actually just kicking it about um everything we went through on the island the whole mentality linked with it and i'm saying the fact that we actually went from being babies on the island and i'm saying to mm. being adults now more mature and minded you know mm. right 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 it was a hell of a experience man that's the only door that one time in my life you know mm. that's a fact and we we do <laughs> we do we do acknowledge the fact that you was down with us that we was all there together as you know what I'm saying right. dealing with it all together as as a family. Yeah, adolescents. Right, man. right, we, right, we right. We was all adolescents at, at one time, including my twin. That's you know right. What I'm it's something that we we you know we grew from that. You know what I mean? It was something that occurred in our past that you know lead us into incarceration when we had to do some years out of our life, man. That you know is an experience. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, uh, to me, as a day, man, you know, I learned drastically, man. You know, I had to change. Because if I didn't change, man, I still be behind the walls with some of my comrades that's still there, man. You know, mm. still with hope to try to make it back out, man. You know, mm. that's right. Yeah, that's a fact. Like we was just talking about that. Um, friends calling me right before I went on the show from Green Haven. Okay, what's going on, with my boy, man? Yeah, he's, um, he's all my guys, man. I miss all my guys, man. Hopefully one day, man, I still will see them again. But not seeing them as. You know, going back behind the wall, but seeing him on the side where I'm at. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, my man Tater, he made it on out. You know what I mean? Right. Same as them, man. You know what I mean? Mm. You never give up hope, man. That's right. 
That's See, um, to the people that don't really know, friends, Satel is one of our comrades. He's been locked up over 25 years straight. You know, he has life right now, and he's in prison for a crime he did not commit. So now it's right. like, the, you know, us, the legal team, the support system to help get this man out. You know, he's, he's in the court, he's working, but the bottom line is he's innocent. So now right. let's, let's review the facts of everything and, and, and ask the judicial system, why is this man still in prison? That's it. That's how you start. Right, we, need some type. Right, we, we, right. we got to create. Type of answers. Right, we, we got to create the forum where we could address certain situations without, you know, protracted litigation. Having a person spend a neck, uh, uh, he should not even be spending an extra minute in it. You know what I mean, so let, let's go. Right. So with all the free meat meal, the campaign for the um, the the young sister that that has natural life in another state. S Satoya, I believe it is. Satoya, yeah, Satoya, Satoya. What's her last name? Hawkins uh, or something uh, like that. I don't Satoya. know her last name. Satoya. Oh Brown my God, that sixteen-year-old like girl. Right. She Yo, got, yes. She got life. So. That people, is crazy. Yeah, people are paying attention right now, and they want answers. The last thing I read, um. Kim Kardashian said, "Yo, I, that they I put my lawyer." Yeah, they were putting. They were. Um, she was putting up her lawyer to, right. to try to defend her. Lawyers, oh. And she's already been locked up what thirteen years already or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Oh, oh, 12, 13 years already, but, and now yeah. they're looking into her case. But, Yo, so, Yo, so, so thank you for calling, right. Twin. Twin, I man, peace, man. We gonna get up soon, man. We gonna have this reunion, yeah. and we gonna show the world. We gonna demonstrate to the world right. how we help influence through our style. Our lingo, right. our, our right. bonds, and all that. We helped that, man. We right. helped mold the culture, man. Right, we made that culture. We did that. That's right. Yeah, I love you, bro. Right, right. And I love y'all. I love y'all guys too. Y'all stay strong. All right, man. Keep it stay up. Strong, you know what I mean? Bro. Love is love, bro. Love is love. All right, soon. All right, one. Uh, all right. So yeah, you know what? You gotta... That that young lady will be freed soon. If, if she has the right people behind her now. That's it. Now but watch, it's crazy watch because how everything opens up now. You know who we're talking about, right, baby? No. She was 16 years old. She was um, abducted, right? Mm -hmm. Or run abducted at an early age. Right. She was put into prostitution Correct. at an early age. Um, she was basically... Purchased. She was yeah, bought. Yeah, she was purchased off to um, a gentleman who... Um, she ended up defending herself. She shot and killed him. Because he was, was he was yeah. raping her, he was um letting her out and everything, and they arrested her for what was it, first degree murder? Mm -hmm. First degree murder. First degree murder. Sixteen years old. But the bottom line is this. And she's already been locked up thirteen years. They have to evaluate the trauma that she suffered right. before she made that juvenile decision. That's that. So what but that being said, she, yeah. I gotta sign off. Yeah. We can actually continue this offline. Mm. But I gotta There'll be sign a part off, two. Like I always sign off. Don't ever, ever, ever be silent. You talk back right here. Back to a Cripper 3030. Peace. Peace.